Um, and thanks for joining me. Appreciate it. Um, I'm here with uh, Brent Voorhees, uh, General Manager, Buddy Rogers Music in Cincinnati. Um, is Cincinnati happy with the number one overall pick and Joe Burrow being there now? Is, uh, <laughs> I had to ask. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, it's a great story. No, it, it's good. It's a good rebuild. So uh, yeah. hopefully we'll get to have a season. So <laughs> that's, that's true. The future of sports is certainly in doubt. Um, yeah. yeah, I wanted to ask you about the, uh, you know, the music stores. Um, you know, it's um, tell me what's what's going on in your area. Um, I I believe I heard your your, uh, your governor has allowed um, a reopening of uh, of stores. So tell me what your situation is. Are are you reopen and how's it going? If you are, you know, <laughs> is, are people coming in? I mean. Tell me about the landscape, what's going on right now, and how your, you know, how business is going. Sure, sure. Um, well, yeah, we've we've shut down most of our operations for the past. I think we're in week six, um, I believe, at this point. Um, and and basically, that all came down from a, a governor mandate. Uh, so. Yeah, and, and every state is different, but I mean, for Ohio, um, I think we've been credited as being one of the more proactive uh, states uh, as far as response to everything. Um, obviously, you know, we want to be in line with with what uh, the government leadership is is uh, is asking of us. So, uh, as soon as we got wind of that, we you know we closed down our our uh, showroom to in store visitors. And, you know, um, for a period of time, we furloughed some people, um, but uh, have been working through the different, you know, PPP plans and the different, uh, you know, uh, uh, outlets to, you know, kind of keep us, keep us going in the, in the, uh, in the meantime. Um, the nice thing is we still have a lot of rental instruments out. Um, you know, uh, and that, that still has, um, uh, you know, there, there's a need for us to keep some people, you know, here and working, um, uh, to be able to service those accounts. We've, you know, set up uh, pretty regular communications with our customers and, um, you know, for people who are interested in, you know, figuring out what's going on with the rental or, um, of course, you know, with the schools, things are changing a little bit, but, um, but no, it's, it, it was, uh, you, you know, other than just the normal, you know, mandated things that we had to do, um, it's been, you know, just pivoting and trying to think outside of the box of how we can, we can continue to be, uh, successful. Um, you know, Buddy Rogers music in the Cincinnati area is, um, is well known. It's we're a we're a prominent local business in the area, um, so I think I think people are are looking to support small business. I think um, uh, you know in response to that we have a you know we we have a duty so to to respond to our customers. Um, so so I think you know so far it's been it's been okay. We've um, uh, obviously I think it was a couple days ago, um, Dewine laid out the plan for, for reopen, um, um, retail, I believe is opening up on the 12th of May on Tuesday. Um, so we're, we're still going to take a, um, you know, a, a step-by-step -step approach to reopening. Um, we want to, of course, ensure the safety of our, of our employees. Um, we have a lot of employee, well, you know, we have several employees that are in the, in the, um, you know, in the range of, of being more susceptible to this disease, at least of what we know of it. Um, and, and then of course, you know, wanting to ensure safety for our customers as well. I, I mean, I think there, for us, it's hard to make uh, real concrete decisions um, because there is still so little that we know about, um, you know, the nature of the, the virus and, and things like that. Um, but as far as, you know, as moving forward, um, we're taking steps. We're in communication with, um, you know, dealers all across the, the country. 
um, and experts and, and trying to figure out, you know, um, you know, obviously for, for a music store, it's a little bit different um, of, a, of a reopening thing, especially for us, we're a woodwind and brass store. So you have a lot of, uh, a lot of things that people, you know, put their mouths on, they blow into. Um, so uh, while we're, you know, we want to remain sensitive to that, it's, it's a balance between, um, you, know, uh, you know, being sensitive, uh, figuring out the right way to move forward, you know, in our, in our product realm, um, but also not scare people away because, because the reality and what we've been finding is that, that there is a safe way for us to, to move forward. So. Oh, thank you. Um, so, uh, sorry, I didn't realize it was May 12th. So, um, so when, uh, Governor DeWine says you could reopen on May 12th. There are, are you planning to reopen that day or, or is it, uh, you know, are you going to take some more time to do that? Do you have a plan set up? Yeah. Um, and, and we, you know, we just got the man or the, the mandate and the, the documentation, I think yesterday or the day before, um, we're sitting down actually today, later on today as a leadership team, um, uh, we have a core leaders in the, in the company who, are under different facets. We're going to get together and and come, you know, add to the plan that we've been already building. Um, a, a lot of uh, the the good thing is a lot of this. The plan of going back is is building off um, foundation of the things that we already do. Um, just as far as sanitization of instruments and uh, you know making sure we're keeping best practices um, of of cleanliness and. Uh, and then with the additional social distancing. Uh, so we are planning on opening. Uh, I do know that uh, May, May 12th, um, the showroom uh, area is still kind of a question mark as far as if we're gonna open fully on May 12th. Uh, mm -hmm. we've, been, we've been sending out online orders and, you know, and kind of you know, helping behind the scenes, but uh, we're still, um, still not sure if we're gonna you know, fully open on, on May 12th, but it, it will be sometime in May. We're, we're eager to, to get back uh, and roll in, so. Great, great. Um, yeah, I, I just want to ask you a couple more things. Um, you, you said some employees are, are furloughed. Um, how are you keeping in touch with them? What, what have you done in the meantime? Are you, are you doing some Zoom chats with them? Are, I mean, are you making sure they have an idea of when they might be able to return? I mean, how are you uh, talking to them? Sure. Well, we have, you know, we have, 25 people in our company. So we're, we're a pretty small company. We have uh, five leaders um, that oversee teams of people in different departments. Um, and, and of course that fluctuates during uh, rental season. But, mm -hmm. but right now, I mean, as far as the time of year, this was, I mean, if there had to be a good time to do it, February is, a, you know, February, March is, is, a, is, is okay. You know, we've been able to, okay. to, um, to mitigate that as best as possible. Um, I mean, for us, we, you know, for a company, we value our employees so much. I mean, the, the, mm -hmm. having the right people in the right spot is one of the, um, one of the key elements of what, what has made us successful over the years. Um, so there is really like a family type atmosphere. Uh, we do have regular meetings as a leadership team. And then usually what happens from there is we, you know, give information down to, down to others. So um, our key leaders are communicating regularly with all of our employees. Um, and it depends on the format. If it's, if it's the, the school services team and they need to screen share and things like that, they're using, you know, using Zoom meetings for uh, some of the people, you know, just some of the part-timers and different folks, you know, it's just a, as simple as a phone call. And um, I think, I think it's it's working out pretty well. We want to make sure that each employee feels like you know that they're valued. That uh, we need to make sure that they know that we care, you know, about them, and we know that you know if if uh, anytime you change hours or have to uh, make adjustments to to you know their livelihood, um, it can be it can be tricky. But we're you know it's just constant communication and. Uh, and you know we're, I think we're 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 doing that, and and people are are feeling safe and feeling um, secure, and that you know they have a job, and you know, and and that's not going away. So, 
Okay, okay, great, thank you. Uh, yeah, lastly, I just wanted to ask you, um, some of the other interviews I've done, I think we're up to number 20, by the way, Austin. Awesome. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm really happy to have you, the, you know, it's a milestone. Um, but some of the other people I've spoken to, they've said that um, on the retail front is that they think there's some, you know, what they're seeing from their customers is good, there's gonna be some pent up demand that they really, even though they're able to play at home, um, they really do wanna go in the store, they really, you know, and they think their business is gonna, you know, once things get better, um, I'm, I'm going to say once, I'm not going to say if, I'm going to be optimistic. Uh, they, they think actually the business is going to be pretty good. You know, I mean, they're, they're thinking that, um, you know, that, that people are kind of saying how much they miss music and going into stores. I mean, do you, do you think the same way? I mean, I know it's, it's hard to say for sure, but anecdotally, do you, do you think that's, that things are going to be, uh, you know, pretty solid once we can move past this uh, health uh, crisis? Yeah, I, I, I think so, Brian. I think, um, I think people, I, I know I, you know, my family is, you know, from being quarantined, we're, we're getting a little stir crazy. And, and, and I get that we wanted to, you know, my daughter turned 12 um, a couple weeks ago, and we wanted to go out and buy her a bike. And we're like, oh, is that the right thing to do right now? I mean, as soon as things are opening up, we're about, we're going to go out and do that. Um, and, and so I think, I think for the kids, um, you know, largely we're in, you know, student servicing student and students and parents and school music. Um, I think I think we're going to see an influx. I hope so. Um, will it be different? Are we going to have to pivot a little bit on how we arrange things in the showroom and how we do things moving forward, at least for the foreseeable future? Um, probably into 2021. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, but yeah, I think. I think we're going to see a lot of that. We're we're hoping to see an uptick in in online orders as well. I mean, we've already kind of seen some of that uh, in in the past few weeks. So yeah, I think people are are still uh, ready to buy. They're uh, they're interested, um, and, and music is a is a great thing to be a part of right now because uh, you have a lot of free time. It's a uh, it's a good uh, good hobby to have. Of course, of course. No, there, there, there's no question. I think you're, uh, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I mean, one of the few positives about this is that uh, my seven-year-old has learned how to ride a bike when he didn't even have any idea. So, uh, you yeah. know, it, it only took a few days uh, to really yeah. learn it. So, uh, so I understand what you're saying. But, you know, on the music, yeah, I mean, people do want to play. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, you know, um, you know, hopefully we'll move past this and, you know, get to see out at uh, the NAM YP events at Summer NAM or something again, you know, yeah. we're, we're hoping to get to that point again. I, I know it'll be a while, but uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, thank you. Stay safe. Um, I'm glad maybe you could use those sunglasses that you got there on your shirt. I mean, uh, we haven't seen too many of those days lately, but I'm glad <laughs> you can. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> just yesterday we could, that was it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, great. And uh, you know, best of luck to you, you know, everything, continues to go well for you. I know it's a tough time for everybody, but um, hang in there and, you know, I think, I think we will get past this. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll pass by, I think, um, you know, but uh, the really the key part is, you know, it, it gives us an opportunity really to take a disadvantage and, and make it into an advantage. And, mm -hmm. and I think we're doing that. And anytime something like this happens, it, you know, on some level, it really excites, uh, our team, because um, we're able to, in some levels, go back to the drawing board and say, you know, you know, we've been doing this for however long. Is there something we need to change? How can we, you know, create and, uh, and iterate and maybe innovate? You know, so it'll be exciting to see what comes out of this time. Uh, the creativity, um, you know, musically or in the businesses around the country, it's it, it'll be exciting. So we look forward to hearing and seeing more about that. Great. Well, thank you. Oh, and happy birthday, I should say, to Dora. Uh, <laughs> I'll let her know. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, all right. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Uh, thanks for the interview. And uh, Yeah, you're welcome.